In the previous videos, we have been able to import files into our LibreSafe, but it's worth mentioning a few other ways you can do that as well. Here we go. Let's talk about other ways that we can get our files into the Alibre safe. I'll actually close Alibre and we'll come up here to the PDM migration tool. Once you have this open, you have a wizard that guides you into creating projects for yourself. So we're gonna say next, and then we can choose a directory within our uh, Windows system. Once I choose a uh, directory filled with a Libre models that would constitute a project, I'll go with OK and Next. We'll give this a name. And we can also select which safe we would like to upload to in the format that we've covered in previous videos if our current safe isn't the one that we'd like. Next, we uh, are actually importing the files into the safe, and we're given a summary that uh, we've had successfully migrated 19 items with no failures. And so we can finish or even copy another. I'll go with finish for now. And once I start a Libre and get into the safe, I can see that there's a new project that I've just imported for a Libre Vice. And there are all of my files for the Vice. Now maybe I have some documentation that I would like to get in that's in a non-native Libre format. This Vice was concerned with a video on our YouTube channel and perhaps we would like to import some of our thumbnails or other concerned documents. In a business workflow, perhaps you'd want to import some revision change documentation or things like that. I can right click on a folder or directory here and choose upload files. From here, I'm given my Windows Explorer and from this window, I can select the JPEG file that I would like to include in my uh, safe with my parts here and I can check this in so it's visible to others. And once it's checked in, I can go into the folder and see that there is indeed a JPEG here. Now to view it, of course, we would want to download this. We can right click and download, but uh, now we have files concerning our parts that we can easily store with our 3D models. And this can include PDFs, JPEGs, STLs, and other important file formats that are beneficial to keep with our model files. So those are two ways that we can get parts into our safe as well as doing a save operation like we've done in the last video. And that's how we import files into the safe, and we're gonna do even more in the next video. We'll see you then.